So, quarter finalists in the Scottish Junior Cup, how does that feel? Oh, it feels great. Feels really, really good. And uh, performance today, excellent. Absolutely. First class from the boys. Um, we asked them to go out there and look for 11 Warriors, looked them to go and battle them, looked them to go and show quality. And they've done that. There was a 15 minute spell in the game where I, I think we allowed them back into it for a wee bit. But I thought we dominated for most of the game. And I think 3-0 um, was three good goals, but we've missed two or three just in the end. And I think uh, if I'm critical, I want them to go in because uh, put down a real stamp to, to our intentions of wanting to do really well in this competition. But yeah, at the start of the game it was about getting into the next round. We've done that with a very, very composed um, performance. So I'm delighted and delighted for everybody associated with the club as well. Um, especially all the boys who put that much into the game and, and uh, yeah, it was good, really pleased. Looks like that we're one of only three East Region sides to go through this afternoon. We've certainly saved the performances for the Scottish Cup this season. It's three exemplary performances against Peter Silkill side and now here against Arthur. Yeah, I think, and I, I'm not sure what the reasoning is for that. Yeah, we want to do well, we're focusing on it. Um, but I think it shows just a mature performance today. I think a year ago we may struggle in games like these. I think um, we've grown in stature in terms of the maturity of some of the young lads. Um, you see that in their game management towards the end of the game um, and making good choices. And our fitness, our fitness has uh, seemed to be a lot higher today. I felt we won the first balls, won the second balls. In the last 10, 15 minutes of the game, we were running over the top of them. Every time the ball's going forward, we look like we can create something. Um, and that's, that's it's something that's really pleasing from the coaching side because we've been working hard on the fitness side, we've been working hard on the build-up play and a lot of good stuff today and I'm really pleased that we're doing it in a big competition and, and like you say, one we want to advance in as, as far as we can go. Quarter-finals now, it's the first time I've been here for many years uh, and I'm really pleased uh, to be here because I think the work we've done in the previous rounds is, is deserved to get to this point um, and we'll look forward to seeing the draw to see who we get in the next rounds. We'd fancy anybody at home, absolutely anybody at home, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll look forward to it. There's 12 players that took part in the game, many of them contenders for man of the match, but who was your choice today? For me, John Roberts was man of the match, I thought he controlled the game start to finish. John was a doubt before the game, he had to be serene, he came away from training on Thursday, um, and even up till mid-morning this morning, we didn't know if we were going to get him on the park, but he was a little bit of sort of treatment but as soon, as soon as he was out there he just everything went through him everything that was positive and everything that we'd done um, came from John and he was a driving force going forward but defensively he's a rock he gives that bit of cover him and uh, Alan Conway to the back four and I thought he was a standout today I don't think they could get near him um, and he's playing in that sort of vein of form then it gives the freedom to the white players to go and express themselves and that certainly showed in the last 10 minutes of the game Bit of a break now before the next round so it's back to Certainly the league for next week. Just demand the same performance, don't you? Yeah, I think so. I think that um, we were missing uh, Jake Mayer, uh, Luke McGee, and um, these guys coming back into the squad, hopefully, will add a wee bit more uh, depth to it. I thought today we were a wee bit light on the bench of um, guys who were 100% fit. Um, but we'll take this recovery time, we'll use the sessions wisely and we'll be ready to go for next weekend because um, other than last week um, at, at home at Lithgow, we've been on a good run of form and we need to make sure that a uh, bit of core business for us next week against came on, beat them early in the season um, I'm hoping to go down there and take three points again and really kickstart kick our league campaign. If we do that, we'll put ourselves in a real strong position going forward.